there. Thought I'd let you see some of the minis I'm using for this diorama. First guy. I'll be taking them off the bases to put them on the diorama, but uh, I'll give you a little look around. See what you think. Try and move the light so you can still see them as we go. Whoops, here we go. You lose him in the camera shot. Here we go. Try that. Yeah, squid bum. Squid bum. So, uh, let me let you see it from underneath. Leave it so you can, uh, can appreciate your uh, feedback on on these. See what you think. So, squid bum. So he's going in the diorama. And uh, see what you think of this guy. Ooh, he's big. I better take it out of him. Ooh. There we go. Now I wonder what you make of this guy. Trying to come back a wee bit. There we go. So he's going up on one of the bits of wood that you've seen. So you can see him. Think of how he would land on something. Oops. And she's back. It's quite chuffed at his trainers. I must say, I was I like that idea. There we go. Please hear my anguish words of truth. So then we've got this guy. I'm quite chuffed with this guy. He came out really well. I kind of thought he looked like stripe out the gremlins, so I sort of painted him up with that sort of look in mind. What is right and what is wrong? See if I can zoom in, let you see his guitar. There we go. Please hear my anguish words of truth. You see, he won't stand in place right now. There we go. See? So he's going in the diorama as well. Oh, along with his buddy. Karma. This boy. Who I thought was totally reminiscent of Slash. If you don't know who Slash is, you Karma. need to find out. I'm going to say no more than that. <laughs> I think his eyes turned out really well. Here's his guitar. Sweet creature on the top of it. Yeah, really enjoyed doing these guys, they were great fun. And uh, you see his rippling back muscles, they turned out pretty well as well. So, uh, yeah, so these guys are all going in the diorama as well. So, for those of you who suggested the possibility of uh, some form of uh, rock band, you may well be quite right on that side. Right, uh, we've got another guy. This guy going in is the sort of the leader of the band, as it were. Struggling with light here, I'm trying to give you enough light to see what's going on. First time I've really tried to do so a mini showcase as it were. Karma. That's a bit better. Try and zoom in let you see me a bit more now. Trying to tilt them a bit better. There we go. Good old chaos saucer. Holding a spell. 
book. There we go. There's a nice little tentacle under there. Yes, you can tell me what you think of that guy as well. And, uh, oh, there was something else somebody mentioned in one of the comments, possibly about, um, I think it was Scarnier, uh, begging for an orc barbarol. Yeah, it's quite possible. So, yeah, these guys are still on, just on blue tech at the moment. But, yeah, there you go, Scarnier. Yep, orc barbarol. Let's start with this guy here. He's had a kind of tough time of it. He's just had a boot or a fist. So just lost one of his arms which is hanging about down the bottom down there. Try and get a little bit more light on that. This boy, the boy who's wielding the punch, he's got a bit of a set of bloody knuckles and a bloody face himself. But look what he's wielding the punches with as well. Who all night go blunt basting for them? Weaponry. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I'd appreciate some feedback on what you think of these minutes. I'm quite chuffed with them. Chuffed with how the, the skin tones have turned out. And the faces, for example. Oh, please focus. Nearly. I'd rather get it. I would appreciate some feedback as to the, what I can do to improve my skin tones. Uh, I certainly quite enjoyed doing these guys so uh, next time you see them they'll be uh, in position in the diorama. Thanks for watching everyone. You take care.